Aside from the 118 elements from the periodic table that you learned when you were in your junior high school during your chemistry class, in our literature subject, you are also going to learn different sets of elements. But don't worry because these are not going to be 118 in number. These are only six. So in today's video, we are going to learn the six elements of a short story. So again, this is Mom Kath and it's nice to have you again in my class. And this is 21st Century Literature from the Philippines and the World, the second quarter. Before we talk about what comprises a short story, let us first identify and define what the word element means. Element originates from the Latin and Greek word elementum and stachaeon, which both mean principle or component part. Therefore, in our lesson for today, we are going to identify the component part or the elements of a short story. So what makes a short story and how could we make a short story? Here are the six elements of a short story. Character, setting, plot, conflict, theme, and point of view. The first is character. A character in a short story is a person, in some stories an animal, who takes part in the action of the story or other literary work. The way an author develops the character in a story is very important in making the story appeal to the readers. It is said that the heart of the story are the characters. The two most important characters in a short story are the protagonist and the antagonist. The protagonist is considered as the main character or most important of all the characters. It is the character who learns something or undergoes some changes throughout the course of the story. Meanwhile, the antagonist is the character that challenges the main character. It has no concern for the well-being of the main character. The antagonist may be a person, the nature, the society, or any intangible matter that contends with or creates a problem for the protagonist. On this part, please answer the following questions. Which among the following popular Filipino fictional characters are protagonists? And which are the antagonists? The next element of a short story is the setting. It refers to the place or locale and time or the period when the story happens. The setting may be based on real place and real time or it may also be based on the author's imagination. When analyzing the setting of the story, consider where the action is taking place. Most authors use descriptive words to describe the landscape, scenery, buildings, season, or weather to provide a strong sense of setting which will help the reader visualize the story and connect to the story's plot. Now let's take a look at one of Oserizal's greatest masterpieces. No Limetangere Kabanata 7. So where did this famous scene take place?
The next short story element is the plot. The plot is the actual story. It is what the story is all about. It is also the series of events and characters' actions that lead to the highest point of interest in a short story. We have five parts of a plot. Exposition. The parts of a plot is expressed through Freytag's pyramid, devised by the 19th century German playwright Gustav Freytag. Freytag's pyramid is a paradigm of dramatic structure outlining the key steps in successful storytelling, exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. Let's have the folktale Cinderella or the glass slipper as an example. Here is an image of the tale having its entire plot expressed in Freytag's pyramid. The dramatic structure shows how the different scenes from the tale fall under from each part of the plot. The next short story element is the conflict. Every story needs to have a problem and this problem is called conflict. So conflict. These four types of conflict are the following. Man versus man. Man versus nature. Man versus himself. And man versus society. Let's try to answer the following. What type of conflict does each story from the songs above show? Next short story element is the One first person. Each of the following excerpts.
and I hope to see you again next in my class. So have a great day and bye!